You're listening to Soap Sound Radio. We bring you streaming and live broadcasting from the capital. This is the El Arpa Podcast. Welcome to the latest edition of the Alapa Podcast. Uh, joining me today is the lovely Maria. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. That's wonderful to hear. So, what are we doing? Where are we? What's what's happening? What's the story? We're in Lava Pies for the Tapa Pies Festival. Exactly. So, Tapa Pies caused a little bit of laughter. <laughs> uh, why? What, what's, no. what's the joke? Well, like, it's meant to be wordplay with Lava Pies, but, you know, Tapa and then Pies feet, like, it's... You know, it's not very appealing to think of feet when you're eating. And have you tasted anything that could <laughs> possibly resemble feet today? Well, maybe one tapa, yes. The very first one? The very first one. How did I know? Because uh, I told you because you didn't try it. So. Exactly, and I didn't even try it. That's true. So, yes, this is the food festival that happens, I think, twice a year. No, it definitely happens twice a year in Lab of PS. So the idea is you go in, you buy... A bottle of beer uh, and you get a tapa for like two euro or at the very most two fifty. Um, so, what do you think of this idea? Well, I think the idea is in, in principle is very good, just as long as you know the, the food is is good enough. That yeah, would be an excellent point. Uh, so, was the food good enough today? Um, I would say about two thirds were right. Two thirds, okay, because that means we had three tapas. <laughs> no, I'm just saying two thirds. Two thirds, yeah, because yeah. we had three tapas and one was bad, which is the first one, which was the feet tapa. Okay. Uh, and, uh, so yeah, Lava Pies, for those who, who are not familiar with it, is primarily uh, well, it has a lot of Indian restaurants, basically. Yeah, so a lot of Indian <laughs> restaurants. Uh, so, yep, she's yeah, nodding in agreement. Yeah. Yes, that is that is true. Uh, and so the majority of the tapas that you get um, are of Indian. Uh, nature. So the first tapa was Indian. Uh, what were the constituent parts of this tapa? What was what was it made from? Okay, it was mainly cheese and then some kind of like, I don't know, some vegetables wrapped in a roll. Appetizing. Not really. Not really. No, exactly. It looked completely disgusting. Uh, one of the main issues that ran across this uh, festival was that we had we were forced to drink. Uh, Estrella beer. So if you're not familiar with Spanish beer, Spanish beer in general is pretty bad. Uh, um. <laughs> well, is, is Spanish beer good? Well, no, like, I mean, craft beer is good. Yeah, well, it's craft just commercial beer that is maybe not as good some of them, but some of them are... No, I will concede. Okay. I, I will concede a little bit of a point there. The craft okay. beer movement is taking off more in Madrid recently. Mm-hmm. But again, I don't think... I think the Spanish market is adapting slowly to it. I don't think it's... it's uh, I don't think a lot of Spanish places are producing craft beer though, though there are exceptions so most of the craft beer that we are tasting here in Spain are German or American or otherwise European but not particularly Spanish so I think you know I think it's definitely going to happen but Spaniards have to catch up uh, with mm, the rest okay. of Europe we will have a podcast about beer some other day well okay and we will be talking to you completely roaring and drunk uh, <laughs> which is the requirement of this um, no so yeah I, th- I think uh, the beer well the second tap we had the beer was quite cold so I think that helped in one respect which was it was so cold it removed the flavor don't you remember Oh, yes. uh, I think we should have ironed out some of the details of the podcast oh, yeah. off air, but uh, but we're not going to go back and edit this because we're going to present you the truth, no matter what happens in the end of the podcast. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, what am I supposed to do here? The editor is trying to he's trying to, to cut off this bit of the podcast tomorrow. Uh, if you're hearing this while you're listening, uh, then I managed to intervene successfully. This is radio gold. I think this is a lot better than what we did last week about the exhibition. And all the other stuff that we did about refugees and everything. This is the important oh, stuff. Yeah, of course. Uh, so you okay. talk now. The second place that we went to, yeah. the tapa was a lot better because it was almost well. Actually, you could choose between like six. Um, well, yeah, that, that was the key point. I mean, the first place. I mean, well, most of the places 
Uh, I mean, you know where you're getting. You just go to the bar, there's a picture of a tap outside, and then if you like to tap out, go inside. But this actually had, had like six tap outs, so you had a pretty good range. And we both went for the, the meat samosa, which was a little bit different from normal, wasn't it? Uh, it was really nice. I'm not quite sure how it was meat, because it was full of peas. But uh, other than that, it was really nice. And it was quite fresh. It was quite spicy as well, wasn't it? Well, just, just as you would expect from Indian food, really. That is true. Um, and then we went to an African tapas bar. Um, so did you like this bar? Uh, I love it. Yeah, uh, me too. I think oh, it's a really nice bar. Uh, it's it's it's. My, I like it because, uh, like we said, it's traditionally we have a lot of Indian places in the PS, which is great. But this is something a little bit different. Uh, when you go in there, it's very artistic. They have quotes uh, from poets and singers all over the the walls. Uh, they have like the normal beers that you'd expect in any Spanish bar, but the tapas, of course, are a little bit different. Uh, so we both had the same tapa, uh, which was some kind of it was a rice uh, rice with sauce. And a little bit of uh, goat's meat as well, uh, which I thought was uh, was quite nice. Um, what did you think? Oh, I, I agree with you fully. Uh, you would never make it as a food critic, I think. Mm. Uh, okay, so would you like to see this uh, type of event spread out across the city? Yeah, of course. This is. I mean, I think this happens in other neighborhoods, really, just like in different versions. It's, I'm, I'm sure there's one in Tambedi, which is a bit more kind of like up market um, so but I think this one gives you the chance of trying food from different countries um, well it depends I mean uh, the pro- I think there's not that much variety in the tapas here but if it's something that's across the city then yeah you can try different versions and stuff like that you know though we did see some variety there was a, a, a carquette a croquette made from cod which we tried as well which is quite nice um, so there's variety here. Do you think it's a tourist trap? Do you think um, it's... We actually tried four. <laughs> we, tried, well, we tried four. We, so we're so drunk from the beers that we miscounted the tapas that we tasted. So, uh, yeah, no, no. But basically, I mean, do you think it's, it's a tourist trap? Or do you think, uh, look, if you live here, it's something that you can um, enjoy as well? Well, I think it's like anything. Like you, you just have to know what places to go to. These sort of things, they, they tend to like lower the quality because it's quite cheap. Um, so I think it's a good idea as long as you know they, they try to keep the standards. Um, it is nice as well. Uh, they have jazz music, uh, musicians playing in the background sometimes. Uh, so it's a little bit random. You have, to be, you have to catch them basically when they're doing it. But it is a nice ambient ambience uh, while you're eating and also as well when it's quite busy you have lots of people on the streets eating and drinking and it's a real kind of nice environment there as well um, so I mean it is nice to see a city celebrating uh, and partying in a kind of very controlled and safe way and a very fun way as well because um, you never see any trouble here you know when it happens you know um, though I don't know I uh, not the expert of Madrid. Uh, the Spanish girl next to me is though. So um, have, you're from Leon, of course, which is the home of uh, of tapas. So I mean, it is, this is it, it is it is yeah. yeah the Leon is 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 is, is tapas central. Uh, so well, and the nor- well, generally the north, but specifically Leon. Um, for yeah, referring to Spain. Um, so is, is there anything like this uh, in in Leon, or is it or what's the well, story? Well, the thing in Leon is that you don't need to have uh, something like a festival because it's normal just to go for a drink and get a tapa, as in, you know, a large portion. Um, so what people do is, like, go out f- when they go out for tapas, they actually just, like, buy drinks and then and then get food, and then yeah. that's that's just enough to, to have your meal for, like, a really cheap price. They don't really charge you any more than the normal drink. Okay. So, um, so it is the... And you can choose as well. Yeah. So, I mean, would you rather see Madrid adopt the same culture as Leon in that respect? Or is it kind of fun to have that just for a little while with these little festivals? Well, I think it would be quite handy to have it all the time. But, uh, but then in Madrid they will have to make up a different festival. So... <laughs> You're right, exactly. So, you know, it works for everybody. Um, so that's uh, pretty much it. We've managed to talk to you uh, without dropping crumbs or uh, samosas over the microphone or crunching to it loudly while we're talking to you. Uh, so we will be back with you next week. Um, won't we? We will, yeah.
with a new topic. What's a new topic? Uh, we will discuss the topic with you right after this musical interlude, <laughs> which I believe is quite dramatic. So just before we go to that uh, dramatic interlude, uh, one thing we forgot to talk about is the issue of the beer. So Maria, our resident beer expert, can you take it from here? <laughs> We were just going to mention about uh, the fact you had to have uh, stale Australia all the time. Exactly, and it's not a beer that a lot of people like, is it? Um, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't like it. Do you like it? No, I absolutely hate it. Uh, yeah. So I think it's genius this time. They found a way to make people drink it because otherwise, I don't think it's that popular a drink. You know? <laughs> Yeah, if you like it, you know, drop us a, a line. We want to find people I, no, <laughs> we don't want, actually like it. No, we, we don't want people who like Australia listening to the show. So <laughs> don't contact us and don't listen. So it's as simple <laughs> as that. Mao, Mao drinkers are nobody at all. Um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah that, that is kind of um, kind of annoying. Like, speaking about the beer in the city, uh, like, I think you mentioned as well whether we're chopping down on the, uh, on, the, on the tapas that you'd like to have, maybe the tapa. And the craft beer, not not Australia. So uh, mm, why yeah, yeah. Too, uh, I'm just thinking, it, you know, it would be a good opportunity. This is meant to be like a um, festival for for the people, and obviously, Lava Pies is a very, you know, um, it's a very very place, exactly. Artistic, like <laughs> down to earth type of neighborhoods, you know, where a lot of like community things happen. And uh, no, it's true. And plus, like you know, if you're going for your tapa, it's it's for cheap food. You're not gonna be dining and drinking for cheap uh, with craft beer that being said though, there's a, like, I mean as we alluded to earlier the craft beer movement is taking off in the city and I think it's a, it's a fantastic thing I think mostly it's because of the Americans coming into the city they've brought it they've brought it over from, from, from the states it has to be said because the craft beer movement in the states is like 10 to 15 years old in Madrid, in Ireland, in other cities, it's like literally two to three years, you know? A lot of eye rolling going on off camera, off camera, <laughs> off microphone here. Uh, so, but I think that's my opinion anyway. But uh, the thing about the beer is, uh, the craft beer, it, like, I can understand that you might want to have it with a tapas and a half piece, but there, are like, there actually are a lot of events in the city uh, where you can kind of uh, taste um, uh, craft beer from all over the world and there's a lot of great bars in Chambéry especially which is an, a an, an area kind of that we both know very well and one bar particular bar in in particular is run by a guy called Rodrigo who's from the north of Spain and he's a great guy he's uh, he's very knowledgeable and most of these guys if you approach them are very happy to talk about the beer and teach you about the beer as well because the beer has the flavor the color the aroma you know different things that are different qualities to the to the texture of the beer that you can associate with with wine tasting as well and um, like what's interesting for me is the food pairings. It's a, a beer that has five percent uh, seawater from Galicia, uh, and if you, you eat mussels with it, it it really brings out the uh, flavor of the beer. Is another beer if it's a stout, it's like a black beer. If you have brownies with it, it brings out the coffee and the chocolate flavor in it. And so you've all these different food pairings. Like so, the craft beer movement here is getting a lot better, and it's 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 nice to have choice uh, when it comes to your alcoholic tipple, uh, because you know choice is power, don't you think? Very much so. Uh, indeed. So okay. So now, finally, it's time for the uh, for the uh, dramatic musical interlude, and I'm gonna go off for a cold one. Do you wanna come with me? All right then. All right. See you in two short minutes. We might sound slightly drunker. dramatic musical interlude I love that do you like that I love that so oh, much oh wow <laughs> who picked that uh, I mean, it might have been me you know, you oh, know. good choice you mm, got I good know. you got good taste not just in tapas but also in music so our topic next week uh, any ideas well okay uh, that look that you can't see uh, but probably can hear through the deafening silence is that uh, we're not so sure but what we will be doing 
I'm going to the Lakaisha Forum again. Uh, no, it's to see Bellas, excuse me, to see the uh, to see an act exhibition. Yeah. Uh, we're going to see that and talk about it, and that's going to be the topic of the next podcast. So, so until the next podcast time, uh, this is Enda saying bye bye. Bye. You're listening to Soap Sound Radio. We bring you streaming and live broadcasting from the capital. This is the Alarpa Podcast.